Hi, good morning. It's nice to meet you today. I will try to briefly tell you a little bit more about the course of graphic design of, on our university. And uh, I will share my screen and just please let me know can you see it, all right? Okay, I'm guessing it, it's fine. You can see my screen. So, uh, at our department, you can work in these nine uh, studios. And this degree program um, is based on very uh, wide range of graphic design studios. As you can see here, we have a studios which are focused more about the printed matters like uh, packaging design studio or publishing design studio, which are very connected to print uh, paper. Also, we got the studios which are focused more about the digital form of the design, which is, uh, for example, a graphic interface studio or the kinetic graphics studios. But there's also a plenty of the studios which are mixing uh, these forms, like sign and identity studio. In fact, in uh, modern design, all of these forms, like illustrations or poster design, need to work as well in the print, uh, in the print, and also in a um, uh, in the web. Okay, so right now I will try to tell you a little bit more about the process uh, on our department, how how the studies starting. So on the first year. Uh, the students attend general courses like art courses, like uh, basic design courses where you can um, get learn more uh, basic techniques of uh, designing of the uh, vector graphics, of the pixel graphics and animation. Um, it allows you to familiarize uh, with uh, basic techniques in the field of graphic design. Um, and this experience you will use uh, in the uh, next years, uh, starting from the second year and then in a, um, graphic design studios. And uh, here you can see also the examples of the works of students of the first year. Uh, the students learn more about the uh, type design, calligraphy, also, they learn more about the synthesis of the form and the graphic design, how to make the image as simple as possible and still recognizable. Uh, also, you learn how to work with uh, typefaces, with a letter, with typographic compositions, what is the relation uh, between the display fonts and, uh, um, and the body fonts, body text, um, how to make uh, how to make an interesting typographic composition, uh, which is an image itself without the extra illustrations. Further on uh, the um, on our department, one of the crucial elements is the uh, relation between a design and art, and this is why students also uh, attend the courses uh, in the graphic arts studios. Um, we have a plenty of the graphic arts studios uh, starting with a liner cut, uh, but also the silk screen studios, offset print studio, and also digital print uh, studio where you can get learn uh, classic forms of the, of the graphic. After the first year, on the second year, um, all the students is choosing by their own the studios, the studios in which they want to learn. And uh, uh, you can choose uh, from nine studios. And I will try very briefly to show you uh, some examples of student works in these studios. Here's the graphic interface studios uh, run by these professors. And in this studio, you can learn how to design the websites and also uh, to desktop and mobile, and also the mobile apps. And maybe I will show it to you here, because uh, in this form, it will tell you a little bit more. 
by the way, here's the uh, website of the uh, end of the year exhibition, and I highly recommend to visit this site, not only for our department, but all the departments have uh, the final projects uh, of students here. And here also is an example of Graphic Interface Studio's uh, project of the weather app. As you can see here, uh, there's uh, basics of experience design, UX design, interface design, um, and also interactions uh, design. Uh, in these studios, you uh, will learn the software like Figma, but also, of course, the Adobe software. Okay. Next studio is a letter design studio, and in this studio you can get learn um, how to design fully functional typefaces. Uh, the, there's a very uh, many kinds of the typefaces students design uh, here. It depends on them uh, skills and design experience, but you can design like a one font uh, typeface, like a display typeface for invitation or website, or you can uh, design like a mm, with ten, 10 kinds family uh, font, uh, which is going to be fully functional and you can even use to, uh, to design a full book with it. Next studio is a poster uh, design studio where uh, you can obviously get learn how to design the posters and the, in the first studio it's much more related to the topic, uh, cultural topics on the poster. Uh, you can get learn how to design the movie poster, the theater poster, um, and so on, how to uh, work with illustration combined with a, with a type, um, how, to, how to express in a very metaphorical uh, way um, the meaning of the, of the full story. And there's also a second poster studio, and this studio is uh, more focused on the socio-political profile. Um, as you can see here, uh, they also uh, touch the topics of the uh, movie poster design, but maybe a little bit more in a political profile, in the social political profile. The next studio is information design studio, and here you can get learn how to do design the information, how to uh, show um, big data uh, in an images. Um, another studio, it's, uh, oh, sorry, uh, wrong title. It's a packaging design studio. In this studio, you can get learn uh, how to design uh, the form of the packaging. Uh, and this is the only studio on, in our department where, uh, where you can get learn uh, 3D software. Uh, I think it's quite cool. And also, uh, you get to learn uh, what is the best way to design the full uh, brand on your packaging. Uh, another studio, it's a, a publishing design studio. Uh, this is the studio where I work. Uh, so I hope with some of you I'll uh, I'll see in next year. Uh, in this studio, we'll teaching how to design the the publishing, like books, like uh, magazines, like uh, newspapers. But we also try to uh, not to forget about the uh, digital forms of the publishing, like ebooks. But mainly, we're trying to combine all the uh, elements from the other studios. As you can see in the publishing here, quite often you're going to find uh, typefaces, you're going to find uh, pictures like photography, like illustrations, uh, even like liner cuts or graphic arts um, images, and uh, we're working how to combine it in an advanced uh, layout, 
design. Here, uh, there's also Sign and Identity uh, Studio, where you can get learn how to design a logotype, uh, how to design uh, visual communication systems, for example, like this one on the AirPods. Um, uh, you will also get learn how to show this brand, brand identity, uh, for example, on packagings uh, and uh, websites and uh, planning uh, different uh, formats. Also, we have in the studio of uh, Kinetic Graphic Studio, which is focusing about moving our projects, which is focusing about the animation. And here is a one of the examples. Okay, and that's all of the studios and what might be interesting at this moment for you as well is uh, some examples of the works of the lecturers here. Um, all of the lecturers are uh, recognizable designers and artists. Um, here is the work of the Martin Markovsky, uh, the, work design, uh, the work won a um, couple of awards, for example, of in Paris uh, Design Awards and in a couple more places. Uh, here you can um, see how the matching work with uh, this advanced layout of this book. Here's also another example of Mar uh, Dr. Martin Markovsky work. This is an exhibition catalog. Here's uh, the work of uh, um, Wojciech Janicki. Uh, here you can see the examples of the experimental posters and, uh, and also the signs. Uh, Wojciech quite often is cooperating with, uh, um, with the brands or so the companies, but also the uh, cultural uh, cultural um, brands. Mm. Here's the example of the work of Agatha Kulczyk. Uh, Agatha Kulczyk is um, working mainly with an information design, but here she designed the uh, system and the concept of the of this, uh, foundation of law book. There's another uh, work of Agatha, uh, also the, the layout system. And here's the example of the work of Victoria Grabowska. Which, uh, she's designing the typefaces. Uh, uh, her typefaces, typefaces have been used in uh, uh, plenty places, uh, for example, like an Eurosport. Um, probably you've seen uh, her typefaces uh, before. Here's the very interesting uh, design of the um, design, which is helping uh, to learn how the typeface is looking. It's designed for the people with uh, vision problems. Okay, here's the uh, example of the work of Szymon Szymankiewicz, uh, which uh, uh, this is the poster design studio, and this is a quite good example of a political issue um, topic. As you can see, Szymon is experimenting with, uh, with uh, symbols with a very simple, very minimalistic form. 
And here you can see uh, my work. Actually, this is the catalog of the uh, of the best works of the best diploma on our university. Uh, the, yeah. And here's also the catalog of the Poznan Art Week, which is a festival which is taking a place every summer in Poznan. It's very, very cool event because at one time there's a, really a lot of art exhibitions and all the, all the uh, art galleries uh, are working at the same time together and, um, in this festival. Also, our students uh, are achieving a uh, very lot of successes and realization and in Poland and also abroad. Uh, most of them are working uh, in the design, but also we trying to, uh, in the time of studying, we're trying to work with our students not only on, on the university, but also trying to move into a city. For example, this is a wall which is between the two parks in Soac and uh, Lusauka in Poznan. I hope you will have a chance to see it in Rio. Also, we're doing the workshops on the other university. Here's uh, Dr. Markovsky uh, doing the workshops uh, on the poster design. And here's also our student on uh, students on our university on on the workshops, and uh, mm, we also visiting uh, different galleries, and we also of course in this time working online. Okay, thank you. That will be all about our department. Do you have any questions at the moment?